Welcome to a really quick video on how to strip server code from your builds. The primary reason why you'd want to do this is so that players cannot decompile your game and easily reveal how the server code works. And even though the code may sit on the server, knowing how it performs could give hints as how to cheat in your game. Let's take a very quick look at this class. I have some really simple code as a demonstration. When a player presses spacebar, they will call command teleport, which runs on the server, teleporting the player, and then the client plays the audio locally. Before I show you how to strip out the server code, let's see how the code looks decompiled. It will look a bit different because Mirror is adding some extra code during compile time and because compilers interpret code slightly different, but you can still plainly see what's going on. Here's my command teleport, and here's the logic being run. Nothing spectacular going on here, but some of your other server code may be more revealing. Back in Visual Studio, let's exclude that code from client builds. In my command, I'm going to add a few lines. I've added if Unity Server or Unity Editor, and below that, and if. Basically, anything within these two lines here, the if statement and the end if, will only be included in the executable or build if it is a Unity Server build or if you are in the Unity Editor. With that code in place, I'm going to make a new build and I'm going to have server build unchecked. So this is going to be a client build. With the new code opened in the decompiler, you can see that the command teleport is still there. However, the actual logic is now stripped from the build. And just in case you wanted to strip client code from the server as well, I'll show you how to do that. I'm not sure what usefulness doing so would have, maybe save a minuscule amount of memory. It could really add up when writing your MMO. Since I'll be excluding this code in a server build, I'll be writing it under the play teleport audio. The code is in, and all I really did was inverse the check. The code will now only be included if not a server build. One last thing, writing all the defines might be tedious as you're building your project, and some of the code might change or be removed over time. I'd probably just add a comment to strip the code and come back to it later.